We wanted to let you know that your ongoing support helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thank you for all the love that you've given us. As a disclaimer, we want to remind you that this video is made for informative purposes only. Please seek professional help if you think you or someone you know is struggling with a sociopathic personality. This video is not meant to provide a diagnosis for antisocial personality disorder. With that said, let's begin. Sociopathy, commonly classified as antisocial personality disorder, is characterized by behavior patterns that include manipulation, deceit, aggression, and lack of empathy. Sociopaths tend to engage in risky behavior and violate laws at the expense of themselves or others. These individuals may have a compromised moral compass and are usually perceived as unethical, immoral, and irresponsible. Despite the media's glamorization and inaccurate portrayal of sociopaths, most of them are not serial killers. They can be CEOs, lawyers, business owners, politicians, Wall Street traders, housewives, doctors, they could be anyone. So here are seven signs that someone you know may be a sociopath. Number one, sociopaths lack empathy. Antisocial personality disorder is categorized along with other personality disorders, such as borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. One defining trait is a lack of empathy. Typically, they do not feel any remorse or guilt as they have trouble understanding other people's emotions. As a result, they may emotionally hurt those around them and have difficulty maintaining relationships. They can come across as cold, harsh, callous, and unfeeling. With training and therapy, it is possible for some people with ASPD to feel love and empathy. They usually develop empathy towards a select few, namely their children, parents, or partners. Number two, they're manipulative. Sociopaths have a talent for manipulating others. They're opportunistic and highly ambitious individuals. As such, they rely on emotional or physical manipulation to get what they want. Some techniques that they use to manipulate others are gaslighting, lying, flattery, blame, and threats. Number three, they are dangerously charming. Charm is part of the game. Sociopaths use their charisma and charm to attract others, specifically those who are more vulnerable than themselves. They will feign concern or kindness to get people to believe them and establish a sense of trust. That way, it becomes easier to manipulate them. Number four, sociopaths are ill-tempered and impulsive. Though those with ASPD usually resort to manipulation, they are also more impulsive and ill-tempered. They're prone to engaging in risky and illegal behavior at the expense of themselves or others. Different factors affect the development of this trait, but being around people who encourage and condone violence make it more likely for someone with ASPD to be violent themselves. Exposure to domestic abuse and animal cruelty are some early manifestations of violent behavior in a person who has ASPD. Number five, they have strained relationships. If a sociopath manages to establish a relationship, they will most likely be very possessive over the other person, especially if it's a romantic relationship. Sociopaths see people as a means to an end, whether it's to glean information from or for emotional fulfillment or for money. They use people to obtain something and feel threatened when someone tries to insert themselves. Number six, they're narcissistic. ASPD can occur with other personality disorders, namely narcissism. It's important to note that not all narcissists are sociopaths, but most sociopaths can be narcissists. Sociopaths develop a superiority complex and use this complex to justify the way they treat others. Because sociopaths do not feel remorse, they do not normally apologize. And number seven, they find enjoyment in others suffering. Though individuals with antisocial personality disorder do not show empathy, there are some rare exceptions. Sadistic antisocials use empathy to experience their target's suffering and to derive pleasure from it. Do any of these signs describe someone you know? Let us know down in the comments below. If this video helped you and you think it could help someone else too, give it a like and share it. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.